And uh, we are starting. I got back just as Pablo said start. So I need to select my deck. Oh, challenge has been canceled. Oh no. Okay. I need to get to my deck. Here we go. And start the clock. Here we go. Zoro and company, I will whisper you your gift code as soon as this match is over. Close in the chat now. See everybody on the flippy. Make sure you go give Alex a follow. Multi-stream link is in the chat. I also tweeted it and put it on Facebook. I knew he was going to be playing Malamar. I knew it. Okay, so a disappointing turn one for my opponent here. Just Tina and Esper, no inkies, but that's good for me. Um, so let's go ahead and <sighs> I feel like I should quick ball for a Zacian. I have three outs to drawing a card that helps me get going. Stellar Wish Guru and Acrobike. So I think I just get rid of the metal here. Play down Zacian. Um, I don't really need to play it down before the bike or anything, but, um, so I think I bike first, then Stellar Wish, then Primate Wisdom if needed. So we'll go ahead and Acro Bike into Double Custom Catcher, why not? Um, okay, maybe my luck's turning around for this round. It was very, very good last round, so let's see. Uh, we got Marnie and Research, um, that's fine. So I'll grab the Research and we'll Primate Wisdom a Catcher back on top. Um, honestly, we don't even have to do that because we're already down one catcher, but it's better to keep a catcher in, in the game uh, than, than not. So we'll put that back on top of the deck. Got a quick ball, which I like. Um, first, I'm going to play down to this Chaotic Swell. So this actually turned out really well. Um, we're going to grab ourselves a Luka Metal because this is just very, very good versus this deck. Get our frying pan on it. Damage reduction plus resistance plus metal frying pan. Um, a lot of good stuff going on. Um, we don't have an energy to attach for turn. I was greedy and quick balled it away. Or maybe not greedy. I am playing 11 basic energy. So I should expect to see them a little more often. Um, I think I'll metal saucer. I don't even need the metal saucer, right? I think I'm pretty safe. The the Jirachi, nothing's happening to Jirachi. So we'll just intrepid sword. And to uh, double saucer, custom catcher. Well, not double saucer, but now we have double saucer. All right. Uh, my time. Oh, what happened to my timer? There we go. Okay. My timer looked like it froze there for a second, but I think we're good now. Okay, so my opponent just has. Um, a pass to draw a switch attached to draw a card. Um, we definitely want to start attaching. We definitely want to attack soon. Uh, just sweeping his board would be nice. Um, so let's see. Do we want to Marnie? I don't think we want to Marnie. Um, I don't think we want to play any of our supporters, honestly. So let's Stellar Wish, uh, Crushing Hammer. Um, we'll just get more switches. Let's just be mobile this game. Got three switches, Malolana. We can uh, just retreat a bunch of times, I guess. Uh, Metal Saucer here. So we're just going to go ahead and hit the Esper with a Steel Fist, I guess, and Accelerate Energy. Um, unless we can, uh, no, there's no way to get, um, something off of Primate Wisdom that allows us to discard energy to accelerate a metal saucer. So, yeah, this was definitely the correct play. Um, I don't need more Jirachi as of now, so I'm just going to throw this back and see what else we get, because we're going to shuffle our deck with Steel Fist. So there's another energy. 
Um, like I said, no way to discard it or anything though uh, to make Metal Saucer work. So we're gonna switch into here and Steel Fist 50 search our deck for Metal Energy. Um, so there were so that's one, two, three, three more in the deck, zero discard. So that means we prized four basic Metal Energy this turn, this game. That's a lot. Hey, Real Raptor fan, thank you for the follow. Hey, Arlo, what's up? Um, Arlo, you missed my first game, I think, but um, it's pretty crazy. You're gonna want to watch the vods. You're gonna, you're gonna be flipping the table when you watch it. No pun intended. All right, Latios GX. Um, I don't really care about the Latios GX though, because um, or maybe I do. Maybe I do. So they're going to try to make it so I can't use full metal wall, which would definitely be annoying, but it's not as um, it's not as bad as an ADP deck not getting to use their um, not getting to use their what you call it alter creation. Um, but I now that I know the Latios is here, I might go ahead and full metal wall if I can and I can. Um, so let's see. Maybe I'll go for trying to get an, uh, a Brave Blade off instead. Uh, let's see what Acro Bike gives me. It gives me another Acro Bike. And let's see what that Acro Bike gives me. And it's a Professor's Research. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to knock out this Latios because I don't think I can. Um, I could retreat. Actually, let's see. So what I could do is hard retreat this, but that just doesn't seem like the move. Uh, so let's put a research on top of the deck. And it's another saucer. So I could retreat and go knock out on the Latios. They do get the spell tag. Oh, that's super tempting. Get two prizes right here off the Latios. That's very, very tempting. I am down a great catcher and a custom catcher. So gusting won't exactly be very easy. This is this is a tough decision. Uh, but full metal wall GX is better over time. Like full metal wall GX is going to get me a lot of value over the course of the game. We're gonna go ahead and full metal wall GX. I'm not sure if that was the right play. We could have, we would lose three energy and we prized four basic metals. Um, so I, I do think full metal wall is really good because basically their team is hitting for 70 damage and nobody wants to do that. Or it's hitting into this for 50 damage. Spell tag. Oops, sorry. So I'm not playing anything to get rid of the spell tags. I don't play Lysander Labs or Faba or anything like that. Um, but I am reducing the damage by a lot. So we do have that going for us. All right, still no Malamars. Um, like I said, I did prize four metal energy, so they are a little hard to come by this game. So I might just have to do what I was talking about and retreat and I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have attached this energy here. I should have wait, held on to it and maybe attached it to Luke metal. Um, it's all very confusing. I haven't used an escape board yet, so that's still in the deck. I could switch into the Jirachi, then Marnie, um, and then see what's up there. I think what I'll do is 
I kind of want a Marnie, but then I also don't because <sighs> this hand is, I just have so many possibilities with this hand and I don't, I don't know how likely they are to manipulate my hand. So I almost want an Intrepid Sword. I could Steel Fist and just get one energy guaranteed onto here. I think I'll do that. So we'll just Steel Fist for 50, unfortunately. Uh, we're taking a very slow game here, but this deck is very slow sometimes. It's a lot different than ADP's Asian. So like what I'm planning on is if they're playing for Cynthia for research and they're not playing Marnie, then they're only out is if they're playing stamp, they can um, manipulate my hand. If they're playing no hand manipulation, then I'm super confident right now. So there is the research. So I think we're going to get tag purged for 50, 40, 40 damage. And then I guess we're just going to have to go ahead and uh, knock it out with Zacian here. Um, we're going to have to retreat, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, we've used one metal saucer, and I think we're going to use two here, it seems like. Um, yeah, so unfortunately looks like we're doing this. Into a wish. Uh, board or custom catcher. This turn I do want to knock out the Latios. Um, but I think the custom catcher is good to hold on to, so we'll just grab that. Crushing hammer um, would make them need an attachment, so I don't think there's any reason not to play it. Maybe I'll hold on to it. Right now, it doesn't seem like it's super, super important. Is it important? I don't think it is. It's funny that I have four supporters on my hand and I haven't played one all this time. Um, so we're going to switch into the Zashian. The Zashian V Pokemon card. Um, I'm going to hold on to the Crushing Hammer. Prize cards have been taken after 13 minutes of gameplay here at Twitch.tv Celio's Network. And spell tag onto my poor unsuspecting Lucario Melmetal Tag Team GX Pokemon card from the Unified Minds expansion. Is this Unified Minds? I don't know my Pokemon cards. What kind of streamer am I? Okay, so um, we've got basically my game plan here is please don't manipulate my hand. Just let me sit on the juice and I got this game and let's go to game two. But if they can do something about my hand, then. Uh, Alex definitely has a chance if he can stamp me or anything. <laughs> now, Esper won't that. Um, so, Metal Frying Pan works on the bench as well. Um, so, Esper would knock out. Um, Esper would do. 160 so put it up to 240 minus 30 um also minus full metal wall gx so it would only do a hundred i'm gonna lower my music on my side but keep it the same volume for y'all um so i haven't used the malolana yet that's really good um gonna go ahead actually we don't need to attach yet
just gonna go ahead and fully heal the Zacian. Gonna grab a quick ball. This is the quality content I needed. I have volume up enough to know it's someone's sub. Thank you very much for the sub, Wellazord, for five months, I believe it said. I'll definitely fact check that after the game, but I believe it said five months. Thank you for the continued support. Okay, so we've got double custom in our hand. I think I want to take out a Malamar here. I could take out the Esper to ruin their plans for the future, though. So that's definitely something on my mind. I could... <sighs> yeah, I really could take out that Esper with Metal Fist. I didn't want to take out this Esper with Steel Metal Fist. Steel Fist. All the same. Steel Metal. What's the difference? Um, I'm not using the hammer right now. I'm just going to Primate Wisdom and see what else we have on top. It's another Custom Catcher. And we're already down three, so we're done with Gusting for the game. So that's just extra draw support later on, I guess. We'll Steel Fist get that Esper out of the way because it could be potentially a little pesky later on. Um, so we played down that huge hand we had now. Um, so now we're not even really susceptible to um, hand manipulation. I would like to see our second Malolana. I think I checked early in the game to see if we had both Malolanas in. I can't remember if that was game two last time or if that was this one. Um, thanks for the tier one sub, Wallazord, and thank you for the Twitch Prime, Gyrushawn. Hey, what's up, buddy? Thank you so much, guys. Hope you're enjoying this tournament. And uh, be sure to support PotownStore.com, who is sponsoring this event. Exclamation Potown if you're interested in that at all. And uh, Zoro and company won the round one raffle. I'll be doing another raffle after round two's match is over for um, some Potown gift codes. All right, so they're setting up the baby Blacephalon with the fireworks bomb, the blown bomb. Have to use a switch there. That's third switch down because of our Absol. Uh, they couldn't just retreat with a skateboard, but they do have a metal. Uh, they do have a psychic energy on that Jirachi, so later on they could retreat without a switch. Honestly, that's where my crushing hammer will go if I get another one and hit heads. Okay, so, like I said, I want to see a Malolana. Um, we've used a three metal saucer. We've got eight, nine. So we still have one, two more energy in the disc in the prizes. I think we got two off the prizes last time. Either. Yeah, we have somewhere between two and three metal energy in the prizes. I can't exactly remember right now, but um, we have a retreat here into Zacian to knock this out. Or we can heavy impact it. And I think we're fairly safe with the heavy impact uh, since our damage reduction is minus 80 from the psychic Pokemon. Um, of course, they could do something like the Solgaleo Lunala tag team, which could be scary. Um, I could Marnie them here. I think I will Marnie them here, actually. Um, so I'm going to attach here. Um, I'm not going to Aranguru anything, so we'll just Marnie. But I really would like to see a Malolana for next turn. I would have loved to see Malolana this turn. Um, so here's Crushing Hammer. I am going to try to get uh, Crushing Hammer heads on the Jirachi. Let's see if it hits its tails. That's fine. Not the biggest deal. Um, I think it would be safer to retreat or switch into the Zacian. And I honestly, this would be my last switch. But I do have, I could just retreat. I have Metal Saucer Energy in hand. 
Um, I think I'll switch and take the knockout with Zacian. Um, a Sogaleo Lunala wouldn't knock this out. A Mimikyu Copycat wouldn't knock it out because I have Frying Pan and um, Full Metal Wall GX. So Spell Tag would put me at uh, 180. Then Mimikyu would do 230. So I would survive with 20 HP left, I believe. There's another Crushing Hammer and Tails again. So Crushing Hammer is not on our side this game. Brave Blade. They haven't used Alana's Fishing Rod yet, so that Esper could potentially knock out our Lucario Melmetal. Because um, it would do 260 minus 60, so 200 would definitely be knocking it out. Um, putting 40 on the active Zacian V. We got a Deden AGX here, so this could be very close. I may have preemptively used my uh, first metal Lana earlier, and now I just have not been able to get another. There is the Lana's fishing rod that I mentioned for the Esper. Um, so they could be Espering me here, and that could spell trouble. Spell, trouble, spell tag, trouble. There's a Solgaleo Lunala down, so they're not using that this game, but there is the Esper. Um, they will be able to knock out the Lucario Melmetal and take three prizes here with the Esper. Um, if they have three metal, they do have three Psychic in here. They have two Psychic. They also need a, they could either get another Psychic in there or they could attach Psychic from hand, which might be what they're doing. They have two Psychic in the discard though. They have a nice sized hand, so they might have one in hand. They are down, a, yep, there's the attachment from hand. Um, so this could be rough for us. We'll have to see what happens. Like I said, we are out of... Um, we are out of switch. And there's the ear kinesis on our Lucario Melmetal. So maybe it was not wise to um, put him onto the bench. Might have just been better to attack with him in the active. Um, we're going to go ahead and... Play down the Zacian. Well, the problem is we can't Brave Blade right now. We're out of switch. But if we hit Malolana, we could do something like Malolana into this Absol and then knock out this. But then the Tina comes up and hits us. So Malolana right now actually would not be good because we need we want them to damage us a little more before we Malolana. So maybe we just take this turn off. So we do this. And maybe just Intrepid Sword for three. So they hit us with Tina. Okay. No, um, no Malolana yet. <sighs> Retreat the Esper. So this has 110, 220 minus 60 is, um, yeah, they, so the Esper would be able to knock us out if we retreat this. 
but on the in the active, I don't think it can they can knock us out. Um, let's go ahead and quick ball see what's in our deck. Um, so the Malolana is not in our deck. The last Malolana is prized. Um, so I'm not going to take anything out of here. We could stamp them. So what I'm thinking is they've already fishing rod. Their Solgaleo Lunal is gone. They could, if they're playing second Mimic U or second fishing rod, they could knock us out with a Mimic U. But other than that, we're safer in the active than we are on the bench. And we don't have a Malolana. So I think this is our only option. We have to just leave the Zacian active and attack. Um, so I'm going to reset stamp them down to two. Um, actually, with the spell tag, can they knock us out with the Tina? So the Tina does um, 70. Oh, with the spell tag, they will knock us out with the Tina. Crap. So do we just not have any option at all? We might just lose here. We might not have a way out. I think we just lose. Yeah, I think this might just be game regardless of what we do here. So as long as we put the spell tag on the active, we lose. Unless I did my math incorrectly, but I don't think I did. So yeah, that's perfect math, actually. Um, and Malolana is the last prize card. So here they just... Um, Distortion door, swing, and they win the game. Oh, that was close. That was so close. Wait, what are they doing? I thought they just won by Tina. Oh, uh, okay. Going for the copycat. The second Mimic U. Yeah, he just won with Shadow Impact, unless I was miscounting. But that also works. GG. Alright, down 0-1. And, um... I'll let him know that I want to go first. So using my first Malolana was a little sloppy, I think. That might have been... Uh, using the Malolana early and then um, not attacking with the Luke Metal, I retreated into the... Um, I'm just going to check my um stream health real quick after i set my pokemon i want to do that real quick okay i'd mulliganed decent enough start um we're gonna have to get rid of some resources but we're going first as well so We'll have to see what we get off of the Intrepid Sword. Damn, and we had such... I had such an advantage with that start to last game. And uh, somehow I ended up giving it up. Alright, so let's go ahead and attach here Intrepid Sword. No Metal Energy. Uh, I want to check my stream health real quick. Not Video Producer Creator Dashboard. My apologies if you uh, hear any of the audio twice. Okay. We're good. <laughs> I 
All right, so Inke active, uh, Latios GX on the bench. Nothing else for my opponent there other than that. Um, we have double custom catcher. That's a solid start. Um, but I did not attach to the bench on the first turn, so that's a little, eh. Um... We'll quick ball this away. <laughs> I'm gonna get down the Absol, um, because once if they start to stabilize, that can really hurt them. I'm going to get rid of this Luka Metal for an energy. gonna go ahead and do that um do some of this not sure where i want that yet um i want a full metal wall here just in case they could get the clear vision off next turn and then hopefully we'll be able to start braid blading soon um, yeah, it's rough with the double customs, so I want to hold on to the double customs till next turn when I'm ready to try to Brave Blade. Um, so we're just going to full metal wall here for no energy effect, but we get the minus 30 for the rest of the game. Seventeen minutes left on the clock. This is the beginning of game two. My opponent has a Jirachi on the board now. Um, Malamar active. Psychic recharge. Uh, nothing else there <sighs> okay so looks like we're going to be attempting the brave blade this turn i think um so i'll attach we'll attach frying pan here i'm going to ditch that to get an energy and i think i'm just going to research the energy away we're going to double custom up the Latios and research this away. Do we hit a switch? No switch yet, um, but it's still possible. So let's just make sure that we do have a Dedene in here. We do have Dedene. Um, let's see how many switches are in deck. We have all four switches in deck, one Malolana prized again. Grab the Dedene. Um, We'll attach here. We'll saucer. Uh, bench this. Play the crushing hammer since I'm going to Dene anyway. Play the Dene. See if we hit the switch. And we got double acro bike. Okay, so we're going to quick ball away crushing hammer. Um, grab guru because that's an extra try at getting the switch. So we can essentially dig five cards deep for the switch. Um, there's a crush. There's a custom catcher. We're down just two, so we will take the uh, custom catcher. We don't need energy right now. Um, Acrobike. There's a switch and a custom catcher. No. Um, we do need the switch right now, so I guess we're saying goodbye to another gust effect. Um, and I think it might be safe to bench this guru, but I'm not going to do it. I, I'm, I think I'll hold on to the guru because we don't have a Jirachi. We might want a Jirachi in the near future. Um, so what I'm going to do here is switch into the Zacian V and uh, we'll Brave Blade. Hopefully we can get a Malolana off of this so we have both Malolana available to us. 
15 minutes left on the clock, and this is game two. Alex is up 1-0. Um, so if I am able to pull this win out, I'm worried we might be tying, unfortunately, if I'm able to win. Uh, if he wins this game, of course, he wins the set. Alright, so they got, looks like they're going to be getting a copycat going here if they have a switch. Um, they do. It's not a knockout though because of the, um, we got um, metal frying pan and full metal wall protecting us here. So we're, do we have metal in the discard? We do. How many? One, um, I think. Let's see, I think we'll do this. Pitch a metal for a metal. Attach a metal there. Hook ball this away. Thin that out. Saucer. It's all four saucers down. Play this to draw two. Hammer and energy. What's primate wisdom? A Marnie. Um, yeah, we'll we'll save the hammer in our deck. We'll Marnie try to hit a switch here, and hopefully a Malolana for next turn. Uh, so we got we got double switch. No Malolana though. Um, the problem here is the spell tag on the Zacian V and then a distortion door will knock us out if we kill this with anything but the activation. So we have to double switch into the Zacian, um, just so they can't get a knockout without attacking. We have to do that. Um, so basically here, we're just going to switch into anything and then switch again. So they will have to attack us to get the knockout or gust they'll either gust or get attack us to get the knockout so brave blade uh, i think will go up actually they might not spell tag the active now since we're leaving it in the active unless they do have a gust effect ready to uh, force it to the bench All right, so three to six prizes, and the four goes on to the Lucario Melmetal. We have still not come across the Malolana. There's one in deck, one in prizes, 11 cards in deck, three cards prizes. So one out of three chance of getting it out of our next prize, and uh, one out of 11 chance of top decking it. And then one out of 10, one out of 11 chance of top decking, one out of 10 chance of getting it off of the um, Primate Wisdom. And uh, they might be able to get off a um, fireworks bomb turn here, which would be very good for them. They could put four damage on Zacian and the rest wherever they like. So I'll have to see what happens. Hoping my Absol can carry me here a little. They're only down one switch, unfortunately. Um, so very likely they can get another switch to help them get out of this. I'd like to see a frying pan or Malolana though next turn. Okay, 
I wonder if they'll leave my Zacian not knocked out just to be cheeky with the spell tag, but it's probably safer just to take the knockout. Less than 10 minutes remaining on my clock. I think I started like 30 seconds after Pablo started his timer, and his is the official timer, so we might be just a little less than a minute off of the official timer. Here comes the fireworks bomb. <sighs> Although I'm taking the early lead every time, uh, Alex and the squids are just coming back. I'm also not getting Malolana at the opportune times this game. Last game, I used it too early. So they are going to let my Zacian V live, which is super risky. I could get um, the Malolana. I could be playing a Lysander Labs. So um, 10 cards in deck. Unfortunately, I have a research here. That's not going to help me get my Malolana out of there. Um, I'm going to Viridian this, thin out the deck a little, and... Uh, Let's see if the Guru God can get me a Malolana here. So Primate Wisdom this away. Malolana, please. And it's a switch, not a Mallow. And Halana. I used Brave Blade last turn. I don't necessarily have to waste this switch because this Zacian V is getting knocked out. But I also might want to research because I'm going to have to end the game in that many turns anyway before I would deck out. Um, okay, so we're going to hard retreat because the Zacian's going down. Now, I'm trying to think. I think I'm fine to research. Which, in which case, I could have switched there. Um, that would be my last switch. I'm not going to do that. Um, so, this is definitely all suboptimal. If I research here, I have the Malolana ready for next turn. And then I have two turns to win from there. Um... Actually, do, can I even get rid of this energy? I put an energy back on top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, yeah, I have an energy back on top. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go go with this. I'm not sure if this is correct, but um, we're going to try this out. Okay. Uh, this is game two right now. Alex got the first game. We're in game two of the set. Did not take any knockouts. They can clean this up with Distortion Door, though, which is definitely unfortunate. Okay, research. They're down... Is that a third switch? Oh, let's go. They're down three switches. That's really good. Hopefully the Absol value can come through for us. Of course, they're going to be able to take at least one prize here with distortion door do they have two in there they do have two in there so they can take two prizes uh, i'm sorry three prizes they can take two knockouts
So if we draw and it's not the Malolana, we can always just switch it for the Malolana. One, two, three, four, five, nine. Okay, so I think our deck is Energy Malolana, if I'm correct. And if that's right, then that means we can Malolana into the Dedenne and retreat it so we don't have to retreat the Zacian. Four minutes left on my clock. Like I said, it might be slightly off of the official timer. <laughs> Steer's treasure for another Malamar. Do they have the switch though? Got rid of the chaotic swell. They have a skateboard. Oh, they knocked out our Absol, right? They knocked out Absol. They don't even need switch anymore. It's genius. What a game. What a game. Okay, Shadow Impact for 50 after Resistance. And my last two cards should be Energy Malolana. Okay, I was incorrect. Now I know they play multiple Mimic U. Uh, we got a skateboard Jirachi here. Is that good? I think that's okay. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wait, we didn't need... I didn't have to bench the Jirachi. Misplay. I could have just benched. I could have just uh, boarded the Dedenne. I don't know what I was thinking there. I just see a skateboard and my mind connects it to Jirachi. Okay, so I benched the Jirachi. We're locked into this now. Um, so that's my retreater. Primate Wisdom. The Hammer. If they're playing Marnie, they can beat me with Marnie, but I don't think they are. A cheeky one of Marnie would be insane. Uh, yeah, I'm really mad that I benched that Jirachi. Okay. All damage on the active. Okay, comes down to this. Um, let me see how much time's left. I think time might be up.
Alright, I'm not sure if time's up yet. They've got the Solgaleo Lunala. Um, Cosmic Burn for 230 would not knock out the Lucario Melmetal, if I'm correct. And we would not be able to knock it out. Oh my gosh, and we'll deck out. All they have to do is promote the... Um, all they have to do is promote it and we lose because of deck out. Oh no. That's crazy. Because we can't Aranguru with nothing in our deck, if I'm correct. Yep, we can't. So we just lose here. Um, we could swing 230 at it. We can't Great Catcher anything up. Uh, we there There's nothing we could do to shuffle anything back in, so we're just going to deck out here. Oh, wow. GG, Alex. Got a little too greedy with that research a few turns ago, and that's deck out. Well played. So uh, Alex can just go ahead and take the last knockout there, and I don't even deck out. GG's. So Alex is 2 0. I'm 1 1, and I believe um, top cut will be an undefeated and 3 2 and 1s.